President, on the North Korea missiles, yeah. what message do you take from them? Well, we're looking at it very seriously right now. They were smaller missiles, uh, short-range missiles. Uh, nobody's happy about it, but we're taking a good look, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the relationship continues. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I know they want to negotiate. They're talking about negotiating, but I don't think they're ready to negotiate uh, because we have to either do it. It's very much like China. The Vice Premier is coming here today. We were getting very close to a deal. Then they started to renegotiate the deal. We can't have that. We can't have that. So our country can take in $120 billion a year in tariffs, paid for mostly by China, by the way, not by us. A lot of people try and steer it in a different direction. It's really paid, ultimately, it's paid for by, largely by China. And businesses will pour back into our country. So instead of making the product, it'll be the old-fashioned way, the way we used to do it. We made our own product. And I think uh, things are going along pretty well there, but a large group delegation headed by one of the most respected men and highest officials of China will be coming in today. They start at 5 o'clock, and they'll see what they can do. But uh, our alternative is is an excellent one. It's an alternative I've spoken about for years. We'll take in well over $100 billion a year. We never took in 10 cents from China, not 10 cents. And it'll be a — I think it'll be a very strong day, frankly. But we'll see. We'll see. It was their idea to come back. Do you have plans to talk to President Xi or no? Not yet. Well, he just wrote me a beautiful letter. I just received it. And I'll probably speak to him by phone. But, look, we have two great alternatives. Our country is doing fantastically well. Our numbers at 3.2. Don't forget, 3.2, the first quarter is always by far the worst quarter, or at least almost always. You look back over the years, first quarter is always weak, and we had 3.2 GDP. Uh, our unemployment numbers are the best in the history of our country. And we're doing well. And our, com our companies are, are really doing well. Even in Ohio, the great state of Ohio yesterday, General Motors, at my very strong urging, to put it mildly, very strong urging. I wasn't even nice about it, but I appreciate what they did. They sold the, the beautiful plant, Lordstown. They sold that beautiful plant to a very, very good company that's going to make electric trucks. And that worked, because that was the only thing they could say about our whole economy, Lordstown. They kept saying, Lordstown, Lordstown. And when you had all of these great companies spending billions and billions of dollars coming into our country, they couldn't talk about it. They'd only mentioned the one plant uh, that uh, was a GM plant from a very long time ago. And now we have a great company going and going to make electric trucks. Very appropriate. Interesting idea, actually, electric trucks. Yes, please. Will you allow Robert Mueller to testify? Well, I'm going to leave that up to our very great Attorney General, and he'll make a decision on that. But I will say this. Look, the Mueller report came out. It was done uh, at uh, — I guess I'm hearing numbers now close to $40 million, with 17 or 18 very angry Democrats who hated Donald Trump, and also uh, everything that they could possibly have at their disposal. There was nobody that was, in the history of our country, more transparent than me. I said, give them every document, give them every person, let the White House counsel testify. I think he testified for 30 hours. I guess they must have asked him the same question, because uh, there wasn't very much to testify about. But I said, let him testify, and let him — keep him as long as you want. Actually, when I heard 30 hours, I said, that's a long time. But. I let him testify. I didn't have to have presidential privilege. I could have stopped everything. I didn't have to give them a document. I gave them 1.5 million documents. I gave them White House counsel. I gave them other lawyers. Anybody you want, you can talk to. At the end of the testimony, no collusion and, essentially, no obstruction. Of course, a lot of people say, how can you obstruct when there was no crime, when there was no collusion? How can you possibly obstruct? I'll tell you, but it's worse than that. It's — not only was there no crime, but the crime was committed on the other side. So we're protecting against the crime committed on the other side. So after spending all of that money, all of that time, two years, they come up with a report. And Bob Mueller is no friend of mine. I had conflicts with him. We had a business dispute. We had uh, somebody that is in love with James Comey. We like James Comey. They were very good friends, supposedly best friends. Maybe not, but supposedly best friends. You look at the picture file, and 
You see hundreds of pictures of him and Comey. And with all of that and other things, uh, he wanted the FBI job. I don't know if anybody knows that. But as you know, he was considered for the FBI job, wanted it. And the day after he didn't get it, he became the special counsel. That's a conflict. And we had other things. But that, those are tremendous conflicts. Listen to this. Your judge, call him a judge, is, has a business dispute with me. Your judge has a fantastic relationship with James Comey. Well, he's a part of this. He lied to Congress. He leaked. He's a liar, a leaker. And your judge has a situation where he wanted to become the FBI director. We chose Director Ray instead and told him, I'm sorry. That's, those are tremendous conflicts. Those are tremendous conflicts. And then he puts on his staff almost all Democrats, many of whom contributed to Hillary Clinton. None of them contributed to me, that I can tell you. And it started out at 13. It went to 18. And these were angry Democrats. These were people that went to her. In one case, went to her. It was supposed to be a party. It turned out to be a funeral on election evening and was going wild. He was so angry. And this man now is judging me. You had other people made big contributions to Hillary Clinton's campaign. They were angry Democrats in, I think, almost all cases. One of the people worked on the Clinton Foundation as just about the top person at the Clinton Foundation. With all of this, they came back. No collusion. There's nobody in this room, including you, if they were — that's you, John. If we looked at you with $40 million, 18 angry people that hated you, and all of the other things I mentioned, they'll find something. I don't know. Maybe John not. Go ahead. Finish it. Mr. is also friends with Mr. Barr. And as you're aware, Mr. Barr told lawmakers that he didn't have a problem with Mr. with Mr. Mueller testifying. I'm going to leave that up to uh, the Attorney General as to whether or not I, — I think, to me, it looks like a redo. Here's what's happened. The report comes back. It's perfect. It's beautiful. There's no collusion. Nobody even talks about collusion. Do you know, I haven't heard the word Russia in a long time. There's no more talk about Russia. What happened to Russia? The Russian witch hunt? Uh, they don't talk because it was so on collusion, which, by the way, is by far, that's the big deal, because it was all about Russia. So I haven't heard the word Russia. They don't use the word Russia anymore. So there's no crime. There never was a crime. It was a hoax. It was a witch hunt. So this comes back, and it comes back totally exonerating Donald Trump and a lot of other people. This was a terrible thing that happened to our country. Now, I'll tell you what they are asking. They are asking about how did this whole thing start. That's what people want to know. And I want to tell you, I had a, an event last night. A lot of you were there. Thousands and thousands of people standing in a field. They've never seen anything like it, meaning even the press. But it's always that way. We've never had an empty seat. Thousands of people last night. You know what they want to know? How did this whole thing start? 